Hi folks, it's Jody with Spectrum Wisdom Tarot. Here to do a random reading for the 12th of May. Now keep in mind these are general readings. Take what applies if it applies. You know what to do with the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with me, all the info will be in the box below. You can also go to my website at uh, spectrumwisdom1.webs.com and check out all pricing and merchandise and all that good jazz there. Um, also, Wednesdays, uh, I go live. Join me and a great bunch of peeps to do the random reading live, as well as a look in on all the zodiac signs. Okay. So let's see. What is crackalacking? On the 12th. Ooh, they all came flying out. Okay, first one we have is the hanged man in reverse. Now, in the upright, this is feeling stuck, not going forward, not going backwards, hanging around. But the hanged man sees something from a different point of view, from a different angle, maybe even through somebody else's eyes. And then in reverse, it's coming off that wheel, getting unstuck. Using what you know or what you've seen in a different perspective. And the next card is the Eight of Wands in reverse. In the upright, this is, you know, reciprocated communication going back and forth. You know, um, texting, email, Skyping, face-to-face, -face, what have you. But this is no communication from both sides. Hmm. That's interesting. So someone's seen something in a different light, a different point of view, and decided not to reciprocate any type of communication. Hmm. Wow. And it could be about something from the past. Now, this is usually nostalgia. Fondly thinking about the past. It could be about children, if you have kids. This could be seeing, this could be somebody seeing something in a different light about their own children. Or looking back at something. And I kind of feel like not repeating the same mistake, maybe. Because the next card you have is the Seven of Pentacles. And that's the taking stock card. You put all your time, your energy, your love into something. Or someone. And you take a step back from it. And you think, you know, am I getting out of it what I put into it? Is it worth doing? Would you do it again? Hmm. And I still get that vibe of not repeating the same thing over again. If somebody has seen something from a different point of view, once they look back at something, they're like, you know what? I know where that goes. Hmm. Ooh. Yeah. Someone is definitely reflecting. Oops. Oh, there's two cards there. Because now you got the Ten of Swords. The feeling backstabbed, lied to, cheated on, betrayed. And Tens are usually, it already happened. So definitely I feel that somebody is reflecting. Because under the Hangman Reverse, getting unstuck, somebody took the blindfold off. In the upright, this could be, you know, turning a blind eye, maybe not wanting to see the truth about something or someone. And in reverse, it's like, blindfold off, baby. Somebody sees something clearly. Clearly. Yep. And they get the four of swords here. This is taking a breath, a pause, a step back. Reprioritizing, re-strategizing, making a plan. And a backup plan. And that's right under the eight of rods, not talking to somebody. And then you get the ten of rods. That wanted to come out. And the Ten of Rods is feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders. But seeing how it's still the end of a cycle, that this person gets to drop these and then be back, you know, at zero, a fresh new start, a new chapter. And it's right under the nostalgia card. So somebody is remembering how heavy something was. How difficult something was. And again, they're not going to, maybe they're, you know, it's, they're having a deja vu mo moment, maybe. 
when something seems familiar, where they over, they have already gotten the lesson. This could be a test for someone to see if they truly did learn their lesson, and somebody did because they they're not doing the same thing again. They know where it ends up. They've already felt that pain. Hmm. And now we have the Hermit in reverse. You know, could be a Virgo. Now he's a seeker of knowledge. He doesn't rely on anybody else to find out what he needs to find out. He relies on himself. And the Lantern is his intuition that lets him guide him. Sometimes it is, you know, about seclusion. But he likes to be alone. Now, in the reverse, this is, you know, finding the info and using it. Putting it to good use. And it's right under the Seven of Pentacles. So, again, somebody who's already invested in something in the past. And they know where it brought, where it brought them. And something is coming back around and it seems way too familiar to somebody. And they see it clearly. They're not going to be broadsided again. They've already learned the lesson. Yep. And somebody has to take a break from communication with someone. Then they know. They know it's the best thing for them. Whoops. Yeah. Now you have. Talk about communication. You have the Page of Swords in reverse. Now in the upright. A.K.A. Spy card. Somebody wanting to know, you know, where someone's at, who they're hanging with, social media. This person is not even doing it. And that's right under the backstab of betrayed. So somebody has gotten a good dose of a situation or a person. And they're not going to repeat this. Bottom of the deck, look at this. You get the wish card. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. But this is, you know, your guides are with you. The universe hears you. You know, divine intervention, things going on behind the scenes, a wish being granted. So perhaps that a lesson is learned, this reassures the uh, universe that someone did learn a lesson. And now something can be granted to them. Wow. So let's get into it. So we have the hanged man in reverse here. Somebody is getting unstuck. They see something from a different point of view or saw something. They know that communication is going to cease. And it might be something about the do, maybe something to do with the past. Spit that out. Or children. But somebody has invested time, energy, and love into a situation. Now remember, this could be friendship, partnership, you know, career, family, what have you. And they remember the pain. They remember the betrayal. And someone sees a situation quite clear now where maybe in the past they didn't. And this person took a step back. And they reprioritized, they re-strategized. They didn't forget what they learned. And they know how it felt in the past. It was heavy. Like they were carrying all the weight. And now this person knows what they know. You know, they're gonna use what they know. And they're not gonna go down that road again. They're just gonna stop the communication. And this reinsures the universe that somebody is not going to repeat the same mistake twice. So let's break it down. So somebody sees something clearly because they saw something from a different point of view. They took a step back. And they realized that, you know, no communication is best. Because when they did think about it, when they thought about the past and how heavy that was on them. This time, they know what to invest in. 
And because they learned that lesson, they're going to make sure that this never happens again. Being betrayed. And the communication stops. And this might put them back on the road or where they're supposed to be. And a wish will get granted. Wow. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, sharing to my channel. And don't forget about Wednesdays where I go live. And uh, come join me and the peeps. So until then, take care.